Well, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Ian Alexander and excited to have you uh, with us for our webinar today, Telemetry Source and CRM and Candidate uh, sort of Engagement for Taleo Business uh, Cloud Recruiting, Business Edition Cloud Recruiting. It's a long, it's a mouthful, so apologize for stumbling over that. Um, I head up marketing for Telemetry. Um, and I'm joined today by Stephen Schwander, who heads up our client solutions group. Stephen has uh, worked many, many years as both a corporate recruiter in recruit, corporate recruiting leadership and as well on, uh, on the vendor side uh, with telemetry and others helping companies uh, work with technology to improve their recruiting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, welcome, Stephen. Thank you. Good to be here. And we're also joined uh, by Maureen McGinnis, who is the Senior Director of Product Management uh, with Oracle, who is going to talk about uh, the Taleo Business Edition um, uh, roadmap uh, as well. Good morning, uh, Maureen, or good afternoon, I should say, depending on where you good are. Good morning. Country. Good afternoon. <laughs> Great. So a um, little bit of housekeeping before we kick it off here. Uh, if you have questions, please use the GoToMeeting uh, webinar control panel and that uh, should be uh, floating in your screen to ask the questions at any time. Uh, we'll likely address those at the end of the uh, presentation, but if it's something that's appropriate to what we're talking about, please enter it and as you, as you come across it, we may inject it uh, a little bit sooner. We've got a lot to get through today, um, so we're gonna we're gonna go through this uh, fairly quickly. Um, but as far as the agenda, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about telemetry. Um, uh, Maureen is gonna go over the uh, roadmap for a TBE. Uh, we're going to do a brief solution overview, talk about the telemetry solutions, um, and then we're going to talk about the strategies that using TBE and telemetry together that you'll be able to. Uh, to execute within your organization, talk a little bit about the integration, how it works, and then go into a telemetry demo. So with that, uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with telemetry, uh, we're a recruiting technology company. We were founded in 1999. Uh, we started in the resume parsing business, and in fact, telemetry's technology is in uh, many of the top applicant tracking systems. That's the technology that allows you to parse your res parse resumes and and populate form from res forms from resumes or social uh, profiles, etc. Um, that technology is currently embedded in uh, Taleo Enterprise Edition. Um, today we have a platform of solutions for recruitment marketing that includes the the job distribution. Uh, mechanism, which uh, that's the inbound attraction piece where you're getting your jobs out in front of uh, candidates through advertisements. Um, we have a sourcing and engagement model module that's for that outbound sourcing where you're going out and uh, and uh, in, and finding candidates and uh, inviting them to apply for your jobs and engaging candidates over time. We also have mobile and social career sites and applications that candidate experience side of things as well. Uh, we've been an Oracle Gold Partner for many, many years uh, and we are integrated and approved for integration for all of Oracle HCM for our candidate relationship management module as well as our job broadcast, job distribution module. So that's TEE, TBE, PeopleSoft, and iRecruitment. So now that you know a little bit about telemetry, uh, I'm going to pass it over to Maureen to talk a little bit about the uh, Oracle Talent Management Cloud for Midsize Roadmap. Thank you very much. You can advance to the next slide. Hi, everybody. I hope you're having a great day today. I will start by a uh, standard safe harbor statement. I will be talking about roadmap and futures, so anything that I say on the phone today can't necessarily be put in a contract or considered a promise, but I try to be as honest and truthful as how far out things are on the roadmap and where they might land, so next slide. This is just a, a quick business overview slide just to give you a scope of where we are with Teleo Business Edition. We've got about 5,000 customers worldwide. We are live with customers in over 75 countries. We have 16 languages in the product. And all the numbers on the right hand side, 90 million candidate records, 6 million unique candidate uh, website unique visitors or CWS. 
is really just to let you know as a, as a mid-sized to large enterprise customer that the technology that we use supports large organizations to small organizations. We have a high transaction rate, 99%, 5% uptime. And at the end of the day, if you think long term and where the industry is going, this all speaks to big data and analytics. You know, we all want to know the cross-pollination of sources of candidates to who we're hiring and who our top performers are. Well, our customers using the TBE application have all of that data available to them in our system. And it's scalable, reliable, and we have customers anywhere from uh, 100 users to 10,000 users. Next slide. There are six key investment themes that we look, lo we look at for every time we release roadmap items. And it's customer success, which we'd like you to make sure you're on our Customer Connect community. We have a customer advisory board. User experience is our number one priority for the rest of this um, calendar year. Looking at other global and industry type solutions, right now China seems to be an emerging market for us and our product is selling very well. Integration and unification, not only internally with our own products, but also working with partners like Telemetry to, you know, look at our product and align ourselves, which is really why I like working with Telemetry so much, is because from a business perspective, we're aligned on how we look at mid-sized customers and what their needs are. And while some of the features, you know, may seem redundant, it's actually not so. It's that Telemetry and and uh, Oracle looked and said, okay, you know, we have this feature for sourcing or this feature for, um, you know, recruitment marketing, but it does X. And we know our customers might need a little bit more. And so for those customers who have a greater need, this is where partners like Telemetry really come into play. Um, analytics is another key point with partners where they're really digging into the data and they're doing all the analysis to make sure that all of the data that flows through both of our systems makes a round trip and gives you the information you need to make good business decisions. And then finally, everything with a mobile and social aspect behind it. And so every time we release, which is four times a year, we're constantly looking at these buckets and how we bring the product to the next level. And the next slide is actually talking about two of the key initiatives that we've had over the past six months. One is the, one is the announcement of our career center. If you're an existing customer, you're probably used to a term called CWS, which is careers website. As of April 15th, our last release, we're changing the name to career center. We will then, for all of our new customers only provide them with this career center functionality. And really all it comes down to is a redesign of the product. With our old CWS, we had limited mobile design first capabilities. Now we've changed our entire strategy and instead of having a mobile application previously called TAP, something you download from the iTunes store, we're basically doing away with having our customers have to have an extra application, and we're building everything mobile responsive into our system. So whether your candidates are looking for a job on their iPhone, their tablet, their desktop, the experience is going to be clean, consistent, and the same. Next slide. So, you know, why rebrand? You know, why just change the names of the existing products? Because we really needed it to convey a modern experience. I think that many of you, if you're on a lot of webcasts, you'll hear the, the, the words user experience. And that's where technology is focusing because we want to give users the same experience that we have as consumers. So if I can go to Amazon and I can one click and then I go to my recruiting tool and I have to five click, scroll down four pages, it's not the same user experience and we need those to match and we need to modernize the product so that your candidates have a great experience and your employees have a great experience. It needs to be mobile anywhere, anytime. And it was the ability to revive existing functionality. If you're a long-term Taleo Business Edition customer, it has been sometimes hard to keep up 
with all of the changes that we've made in the product. So what we're doing is we're, we're taking all of the best features that we've delivered even over the last three years and we're reintroducing those to you, um, our customers, through Customer Connect, our community website, and through webcast series that we have. In fact, there's one coming up July 20th. And it actually helps us build a foundation for future innovations. So imagine this. This is future. This is Safe Harbor. We have a talent center. You can go to the next slide. We have a talent center. And talent center is where your employees, whether they're just an employee, whether they're an employee who hires people, whether they're an employee who manages people and does reviews and goals, we want to give them one central spot to go to do 90% of the work that they need to do. And we want that spot to be mobile, responsive, easy to use. But then you think about this particular screenshot where John Smith has logged in. You can see a brief summary. He has some tasks he needs to complete. He has some onboarding tasks here. Um, this is you know, drag and drop widgets where you can move around and personalize this screen to you. Personalization is definitely something that we as users enjoy as well. You know, I want to make my Amazon screen look one way. I, I've configured my Spotify a different way. And so this widget framework is going to allow administrators to set it up and then users to set it up for the best possible experience for themselves. The vision is it's going to be fantastic when your managers are in here and, oh, by the way, maybe they want to post a job out to a job board and a widget is simply sitting inside this framework. The future of being able to, you know, kind of puzzle piece things into one screen so that your managers go one place to have one experience to do all of the job tasks they need is the framework that we're building. We're building it so that we can I, um, widget in our learning plans. So with our talent management suite and our learning management system, you can be on one page and have widgets from both applications on that page. So it's really exciting times for the product management team here at Oracle to um, have built this framework and over the next year we have some lofty goals between now and April to get to a point where your hiring managers We'll need to be able to log in one place that's mobile responsive anywhere, anytime for 90% of their work. Next slide. And when I talk about user experience, um, you know, user experience seems to be, you know, it's, it's, sometimes it can be frightening, but really it's how do you experience the software? And with, with uh, our Taleo Business Edition, your managers experience our software through emails quite often. I need to approve a rec. I need to approve an offer letter. They experience it when they log in. We have just recently revamped our Outlook plugin, which is one of my personal favorites because it allows your users to be able to be in their Outlook, checking their emails, looking for things they need to approve, but then they actually can just look at the entire TBE product dashboard. And the way that I built this screenshot was I clicked my requisition, one click, I hovered on the HR generalist job, and up comes a third screen. As a manager, a user, when I want to have quick access to information, but I'm in my email going you know, crazy trying to respond to um, internal issues, I now can simply, in Outlook, go and access other parts of the Taleo Business Edition system. This is available to you now. You can download it from our resource center within the product. But this is a user experience. So when you think about TBE and using all of the different modules that we have to offer, think about it in ways of how is this group of people going to experience the software? They're going to use the uh, careers website because they're candidates. Our employees are going to be onboarded through the talent center. Our hiring managers over the course of the next year with our releases will be able to approve RECs, create RECs, move candidates through different statuses. So we're really excited about the roadmap. Next slide. 
and this particular slide is um, just to tell you that a release is never too far away. We have four releases a year, which is way better than the eight we used to have back in the day. It lets you see what's coming out, schedule time on your calendar. They happen the same time every quarter. It's the third Friday of the second month in our fiscal quarter. So it's April, July, October, and January. This gives you the ability as a customer to make that time and put that time aside so that you can prepare for upcoming releases. And if you're connected into Customer Connect, we have webcast series that will alert you to what's coming up. Next slide. And finally, this is my Oracle roadmap. Our current release um, just came out, which is 16A2. That came out in um, April 16th. And basically, I'm not going to go through the detail of uh, each one of these bullet points. You will, I'm sure, get a copy of this slide deck, and the session is being recorded. But to suffice to say, the focus of our next two releases is really looking at our talent center framework, doing some additional enhancements with our onboarding tools so that you have more flexibility in how you can assign tasks and activities to your candidates, um, including a link to the resume so that you can send that out with the interview file. You'll see current release plus two, we talk about posting to job boards, um, perform integration with Talent Center, so that means your managers can go into Talent Center on their mobile device and look at employee goals and reviews. And then finally, a future 12-month direction. To sum it all up, we are constantly looking at this entire suite and seeing where can we build better touch points and where can we modernize the touch points we have. So think 12 months out, you know, we want to be able to do year-round feedback with employees. How does that work? Is it a kudos? Is it a badge? Is it a game of vacation? How do we then connect that back to the performance review? So it really is all about the suite. And from a platform perspective, it's constantly working with partners like Telemetry to look at our go-to-market strategies. You know, we can only do so much development ourselves in a period of time. So, so balancing what we deliver to the market, it, it's a challenge. That's where partners like Telemetry come in and really work together with us to say, okay, you know, it may take us a few years to do that, but we have an offering that we have today, and we work together to build those offerings out, have your best interest in mind and so that's what I have to say oh final slide oh hug the best customer user conference that you'll ever go to June 6th through the 9th at the Hyatt Regency in New Orleans if you are a new administrator you've just inherited TBE or you've not been able to keep up with the enhancements, you will be able to not only go to sessions to learn new things, but you'll actually be able to sign up for hands-on labs where you sit down with your laptop and an expert and go through list views and page layouts and config changes that you want to make. By far the best conference. I say you should go. I'll go. Hopefully we can meet there. And I will turn it back over to my friends at Telemetry. Great. Thanks, Maureen. And, and uh, that's great. And uh, telemetry will be at uh, OHUG as well. So uh, we look forward to seeing you there. Excellent. Well, um, we'd like to talk a little bit about uh, telemetry, get you uh, kind of a, an experience of what telemetry is all about and particularly how it works together with uh, the TBE solution to really bulk up the front end uh, or the sourcing and marketing uh, piece of, of uh, recruiting. So this slide should you know, do a good job at just kind of introducing you to uh, how we work together with TBE. Uh, basically what we're trying to do is help you do both outbound and inbound marketing. So from an outbound perspective, meaning, you know, how do we send, you know, how, how do we uh, you know, reach out and find people and 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 grab them in. Uh, we've got a tool called Source and CRM, uh, and with this tool, you're able to build a talent pool, and you can track all of your what we like to call pre-applicant recruiting activity. Right. So, an ATS is really designed primarily to manage the application to onboarding process. You know that that piece of it, um, and always has some extensions on the marketing side. But we try to to build that uh, piece out so that you can really manage a full process and a, and a very uh, um, 
persistent process for what we call pre-applicant uh, recruiting activity. So you can source from what we call internal sources, and what we mean by that is all of your past applicants, right? Anybody who's applied for a job in the past, that's uh, oftentimes really good fodder for people who may be uh, up for a job you know, in, in the future. <clears throat> We've had clients bring in as many as 10 million past applicants and they begin to retarget and remarket to them. Um, talent networks, so opt-in talent networks, not just a uh, job alert system, but an actual full talent network where you can really uh, pull all of the information in for candidates and segment them and, and mark it out to them, a place to hold all of your employee referrals, um, and uh, you know a, a place to hold all of the data that you pull down from uh, third-party databases as well. So then the, the tool allows you to engage your talent pool, so send email campaigns, uh, you know, manage pipelines, uh, nurture candidates for specific job openings or for longer-term uh, uh, you know, uh, pipelining, right? Um, and then you want to be able to optimize. What we mean by that is you want to be able to see what your team is doing and uh, and then adjust appropriately or really focus on those areas that uh, that are driving uh, success. So this is what we mean by uh, by source and CRM uh, capability. Now we also have a um, uh, an attraction module, right? So here's where you're sending your job uh, information out, your marketing uh, you know information out specific to open jobs. You're distributing to job boards as one. Uh, channel as we like to say but there are many other channels so that uh, um, attraction is not just about getting it out to paid job board sites or even free job board sites but every channel that you can imagine so social networks even agencies uh, email campaigns pay-per-click advertising event marketing these are all attraction channels that you can distribute your jobs to and then manage uh, the, the uh, reaction interactions that are coming back. Um, so we can actually do all of this automatically. So based on the data that comes in from your ATS, we can set up business rules that say, you know, send this job family to that board, send this regional uh, uh, family uh, of jobs to a different job board, send them all to Indeed, send them all to my uh, compliance partner, you know, uh, so that you know, in the end, hopefully 90% of your jobs get posted and, and distributed to all the channels automatically. So it kind of gives you a sort of a hands-free, very centralized approach to uh, to getting the job out there. And then it gives your recruiters time to focus on, um, on uh, you know, more value-added activities. And of course, you want to be able to uh, to see the tracking. Now, I know you have a lot of uh, vendors out there that are giving you uh, tracking on, you know, what what you're spending with them, and that's fine. They give you the views and, and, the, and the clicks, but because of our integration with, uh, with TBE, we're then able to give you source to hire analytics. So we can show you, you know, where, what sources did your hires come from, maybe even what sources did your interviews come from, right? Because that's, that shows you a quality of candidate uh, coming through. So, so basically, by integrating with the TBE solution, we're able to uh, implement much more modern strategies around uh, recruitment marketing and then optimize those uh, channels and those activities and help you basically the goal here is to get the right candidates for you know maybe the same or even less marketing budget. So what we like to do is encourage what we call proactive recruiting, which is basically simply a strategy that, uh, and it is an overall strategy. I mean, I know we've talked about proactive recruiting for many years, and, and we usually mean that small team of people sitting in the corner, you know, sourcing tough-to-find people, purple squirrels as we call them. But really, proactive recruiting is a, a an enterprise-wide strategy that emphasizes proactively identifying talent or, or you know, pools of talent that you need actively searching them, engaging that talent, um, not only when a job opens, but also prior to that job being open. So, but it's, a, it's a, uh, an overall approach. So what do we mean by that? Uh, go through this relatively quickly, but we mean sourcing, right? So we do mean you know, that group of people sitting in the corner sourcing, um, or perhaps it's a strategic person doing you know, wider sourcing, right? Uh, where you're using all of those channels of, 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 of candidate data that we talked about. So past applicants, talent networks, LinkedIn, social networks, you know, third-party resume databases, referrals, events, non-resume uh, uh, databases, all sorts of, of data. So maximizing all of that data. Then it's building pipelines. It's having a tool that can really 
be smart about segmenting who those people are so that you can send the right messages to them and then engaging them sending those messages nur sending nurturing campaigns sending brand reinforcement campaigns and then perhaps finally sending invitations to apply for the right jobs at the right times right I always joke about that because as much as I you know love the the uh, the Oracle stack uh, you know Taleo e, you know TE TBE I love it all but I get messages once two three four times a week to come be an admin for TBE or TE which is I'm sure fine in another lifetime but it's not the right job for me at the right time so you know people are using the, the, the wrong uh, messaging when they're trying to reach out to me so you want to be able to engage them in the right way um, and it also includes that auto distribution to job boards, social networks, etc. Not only to fill an open job, but also to continue to build that ongoing proprietary database of candidates. Great, thanks, Stephen. And so we talk about proactive recruiting, and and as we go out in the marketplace and work with prospects and customers, uh, we're just seeing a big a big need. From organizations that are that are really staking around, we need to be more proactive, and encourage more outbound sourcing, and and the reason for that is, is is that the attraction model, the job boards alone, just are less and less efficient each year in being able to get the candidates that you need. Uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics reports that right now there is 1.5 active candidates for every job. Right? And that's not even qualified candidates. That's just 1.5 candidates that are actively looking for a job for every job. So increasingly, the best candidates are employed somewhere else now, especially if it's a specialized job or a hard-to-fill job. Um, you're you're going to need to change how you're uh, engaging with candidates and finding them. And job boards just traditionally uh, are not good at reaching those passive candidates. Not to say they don't have a, a place in the mix, um, but uh, you know, uh, attraction alone is is less and less efficient, um, and the channels to candidates are getting more and more fragmented every year. So you've got a proliferation of many, many job boards. Some specialized, some uh, just sort of different versions of more broad uh, job boards, um, and the competition for attention is getting so great we all have handheld devices we're connected to email uh, we have social networks the internet we're bombarded with information uh, fighting for our attention and it's very difficult to cut through the clutter expecting uh, that you can get your jobs out in front of candidates and have them uh, get their attention long enough to uh, to really uh, pay attention and act on them. so again passive candidates play a very large role as well as um, referrals when it comes to uh, proactive recruiting. And it's really now a multi-channel process. Um, so that means you've got multiple channels working together in a complementary way with each other. So that's the outbound sourcing uh, piece of it, which telemetry supports with our source and CRM uh, products. So that's searching uh, for the right candidates, whether they're employed or not, engaging them with email campaigns, uh, getting candidates from resume databases, social networks, etc., um, as well as that inbound attraction piece that you know job boards still have a place in the in the hiring process. Social networks increasingly effective for uh, hiring, uh, digital ads, even agencies, uh, getting all of those channels working together in a way that you can reap the benefits over the long term um, versus more transactionally based. Um, so one of the things that a shift to more proactive recruiting uh, gets you is more control, right? So since you're establishing and defining and filling your own talent pool with the kinds of candidate profiles that you're looking for through both your outbound uh, uh, sourcing and your inbound attraction, uh, you've got more control. You're getting fewer unqualified candidates, which is oftentimes uh, a symptom of job boards. You, you do get a lot of unqualified candidates along with qualified candidates. And you have a growing resource uh, that's only going to grow and get more valuable for you for sourcing. Um, and it decreases your reliance on those external sources over time. So the more you use it, uh, a, a tool like telemetry, uh, the less you, you rely on external sources and you're able to get more efficient with your recruiting. And by establishing this centralized talent pool, um, you're able to maximize all those programs because now all your inbound and outbound candidate acquisition 
programs are feeding into a centralized talent pool. And, and, and as that talent pool fills, you have the opportunity to become more relationship-based in your recruiting as opposed to transaction-based. And what I mean by that is transaction-based is kind of the way things have been done for a long time. It's just get a rec, it's opened, uh, you post it on a job board, you get the, the applicants back, and you react to them. Right, and you uh, you either hire for a job or you don't. And six months down the road, you may have another similar job. You go back to the well, get your jobs in front of people, go pay to get more uh, applicants back again. Sometimes the same applicants back again, um, and it's transaction based. The relationship base is you're building a resource for your future hiring, and you're able to touch those people through automated email campaigns, etc. You're able to source from that um, particular pool and it becomes more and more valuable over time and uh, you are as learning more about those candidates over time and they're learning more about you so you're creating a relationship. Um, you can again engage and convert those candidates over time as opposed to I have a job I've either filled it or not and uh, uh, that particular chapter of my life is over and now I'm moving on to the next job. Now you gathering all those candidates and, and centralizing them. So that reduces your cost per applicant over time, right, because you have this great resource that's getting more valuable. It decreases your time to hire because now you don't have to wait for candidates to come in. As soon as a rec opens up, uh, you can even set telemetry now to run searches against recs as you open them up and bring you candidates automatically based on the, uh, the criteria that you set on that rec. Um, so decreases the time to hire and uh, because you're controlling that resource uh, by who you bring into it and you're segmenting it, and we'll talk about that in a moment, um, you're able to increase the quality of hire because you're, you're dealing with less chaff and more wheat. So uh, that gets into what telemetry enables you to do. As T Stephen says, create that centralized talent pool that consists of past applicants from TBE, so you're synced to TBE to, to be able to look at your past applicants along with any current employees, past employees you can load up into your uh, talent into your uh, talent pool, um, potential candidates from third-party resume databases, uh, social networks, uh, sources like LinkedIn, uh, candidates that you come across on the open web, people who have opted into your talent network, uh, candidates who've been gathered even just through recruiting events, they're in spreadsheets, they're in a recruiter's email box. Uh, you can centralize all that and source across all those sources from one search. So you're looking at uh, you know, potential candidates from Career Builder at the same time as you're looking from people in your TBE applicant databases at the same time as you look at, you're looking at uh, candidates that you've gathered over time through all your recruiting programs. Tele telemetry then gives you the tool to be able to grow that talent pool and understand how, you, how that talent pool works for you. All right, so you've got all your job boards, social network posting, your talent networks, your events, all that candidate data goes into the centralized, um, the centralized talent pool and you're able to see how big is your talent pool, where the people in your talent pool came from so you know what sources are filling your talent pool, you're able to see what uh, how many hires you're getting from your talent pool each month. So now you're able to kind of look into the future and as you pipeline against uh, important jobs within your company and you, you start to organize that talent pool, uh, you're able to kind of see what pipelines convert at what rates. You're able to look out in the future and see how you can meet t hiring demand and scale when hiring demand uh, uh, ramps up. Uh, telemetry enables you to organize that talent pool so you can set up folders within telemetry uh, for key job families whether that's specialized jobs or jobs that you recruit for regularly um, you can set up folders that have those criteria for people who meet the qualifications of that particular job family and once those folders are set up as soon as someone gets entered into the or comes into the uh, telemetry talent pool, it's automatically put in the appropriate pipeline. So you, any given time in the example here, you can see I've got X amount of engineers in my pipeline, X amount of QA analysts in my pipeline, and then you can begin to see how those convert over time into applicants and into uh, hires, and you can, again, begin to look out and, uh, and um, uh, see your ability to, to meet that future hiring demand. 
Also, we allow you to then create, in the same way that you have hiring stages within TBE, uh, you can have pre-applicant stages within telemetry. So not only do you have this sort of horizontal layer of who am I hiring for, but where are they in the process of engagement? And that can go, you set these up, this can be everything from new, this is a candidate that's in there that I know nothing about, they haven't been communicated with, um, all the way through to maybe then you have another stage where they've been reviewed by a recruiter, maybe tagged for organization's uh, sake, uh, and then again, what level of email engagement they've had over time, um, all the way through to invited to apply. So your talent pool can become a living thing where you can really analyze by job family how many do I have and what stage are they in? So you may have a pipeline that uh, is very robust, you have a lot of people in it, but they're all, most of them are in the new category. And that tells you, well, you need to get in there and uh, engage those candidates, do some vetting of those candidates, send out some emails to those candidates and move them through your process. Um, so that's kind of from a talent pool standpoint, how you can centralize and and organize a talent pool and then from there you're able to using telemetry engage those candidates um, you can use the your pipelines to engage to drive engagement content so you can uh, uh, send out nurture campaigns with uh, relevant content to engineers QA analysts whatever your pipelines are um, sending company info uh, content about their profession teach them what it's like to work for you, even give them tips on how to get jobs with you. What are you looking for in the process? What's it like to work here? Uh, it's a whole webinar into itself, uh, the whole nurturing side of things. But telemetry allows you to set up automatic campaigns for that as well as mass campaigns to invite to apply. If you've got key positions that you're having a hard time hiring for, you can send mass emails out through telemetry. We handle all the, you know, the spam uh, regulations and we handle all the unsubscribes and all the kind of email marketing things uh, telemetry can handle for you. And then Stephen, uh, you can talk a little bit about analyzing metrics, etc. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I was thinking, you know, as I listened to Ian speak, there's so many uh, disparate tools out there that are doing, uh, you know, a lot of the things that, uh, that Ian is mentioning. But uh, when you are approaching this from an enterprise perspective, the, the advantage of having all of this together in an integrated solution that is deeply integrated with TBE um, is that you get some really good analytics, right? So telemetry is going to enable you to, to you know, look at those key metrics and help you drive that success. So what does your talent pool actually look like? Right? How many uh, candidates do you have in a specific job family, and and how far have they gotten in that pool? You know, how large are they? What types of talent pipelines do you have? What kind of hiring rates do you have for those overall pools? And you know, where are those sources coming from? You know, when you look, you know, downstream at the talent pool, which are the sources that are doing best for you upstream to drive that that success? What are the hiring rates? What what are the interview rates? Right. So understanding these key metrics are going to allow you to kind of predict your ability to meet that hiring demand. So what do we mean by that? Really quick illustration down below. Let's say you need, you know, 300 civil engineers. You look in telemetry and you run a, a, a search or a report on how many civil engineers you have in your uh, pipeline. You had 6,500 candidates there. Historically, you know that you've had a 3% conversion rate, so your hiring cap capacity is 185, which tells you then that you're going to have to go out and do a little bit more sourcing, right? So that's what we mean by being able to track that data, you know, as far upstream as the recruiting process as possible, so that you can then, uh, you know, sort of adjust as you work toward uh, toward those goals. So you're going to be able to uh, optimize your organization kind of in three areas, right? So first of all, data. You want to ensure that you got enough of the right kind of data for sourcing. Um, you want to be able to organize that by, by family and by stage. Uh, you want to optimize your programs. So you're looking at, um, you know, your sourcing activity metrics, but also refining your messages, right? So you know that you've got a regular email campaign that goes out. Which messages are being uh, responded to in the best way? Some of our clients will do A-B testing around some of those messages as well to see which ones target better and, and get better, uh, better traction. Then you want to optimize around people, right? So what are your recruiters or your sourcers doing within the system? 
uh, you want to leverage that success. So if you find out that you know uh, some of your recruiters are doing an immediate search every time a job opens up, sends out a, they send out email campaigns, and you find that their pipeline for that job is uh, is filling more quickly than those who are just allowing the job postings to go out automatically and waiting for people to respond. Then you can say, let's train for this new approach and see if we can't get everybody on on the same page to drive better results. So how does this work? Um, you know, when I talk about the integrated platform. So first of all, uh, we're going to synchronize all of your uh, candidate data uh, with TBE. So anybody who's a, who applies for a job and winds up in TBE will be synchronized into your CRM platform because anybody who applies for a job today um, is a really good uh, potential target for marketing. Uh, to them a new job tomorrow, number one. Number two, it also helps you to understand what's happening on a specific job. So you might find out that you've got plenty of applicants for a job and you can put your sourcing uh, um, efforts into a different job. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a little bit. So uh, you're going to segment all those past applicants in a talent pool for future demand. You can do all this automatically, uh, develop you know folders and pipelines and response mechanisms. You're going to track all the sourcing activity. So you can tag past applicants with specific tags that help you to um, you know find the right people and 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 uh, and message the right sorts of things to them. You can engage those past applicants. Uh, I even had uh, I even had a client ask if it was possible to find out how long people have been uh, sitting on a certain status <laughs> for a job, so that they could just send out you know uh, keep warm messages from time to time because sometimes it takes more than we expect to fill an open job and we want to keep people feeling uh, comfortable. Um, so it's going to provide you with a nice seamless candidate experience. Uh, they apply directly into TBE. They automatically get synchronized. You're not double asking for their, for their data because it makes it really easy. So that's synchronization of candidate data from TBE that helps. And then obviously, um, you know, our product, right, as recruiters is our open jobs. So you can't sell something if you haven't, you know, filled your, your inventory, right? So we synchronize all those job requisitions that get opened up in TBE. They get automatically synchronized into your marketing uh, system so you can uh, more automatically and simply uh, share those jobs out, right? Um, and we're also going to be uh, synchronizing all step and stage data. So it's going to allow you to be able to uh, target some of those silver medalists. So you give up five people that you know got down to a short list and only one person got hired. How do you track and, and engage those other four people? So that all of that data synchronization is what's going to help drive some real success. By synchronizing job requisitions into TBE, and I'll show you, we got all of the metadata attached to that as well. Uh, we're going to be able to set up those automatic rules, and it's just going to make things a lot easier from a marketing perspective and from a tracking perspective. Um, we'll also give you some targeted manual posting capabilities. So there's always those niche boards that recruiters know, and you know if they really understand their market that you haven't set up business rules for, but you want to make it really easy for them to either share that job out. Um, or post that job out. So, you know, not only the automated distribution, but also the real simple um, uh, ad hoc distribution of those jobs as well. And then, of course, you want to be able to uh, track all of that. So, in our integration, we're going to push out a tracking code so that when those applicants come back into TBE, that tracking code is already there. It gives you what you need for your reporting inside of TBE, and when that data synchronization haps, happens back into uh, telemetry, it's going to give you that full view in telemetry as well. Okay, so uh, we've got a couple of minutes left. I'd like to just jump in and just just do a really high-level view of uh, what telemetry looks like on the inside. Um, so I've logged in here to the telemetry uh, portal. And, uh, and and you don't know it because I haven't hit, hit share my screen yet. So Ian, you're going to tell me when I have. <laughs> okay, looks like you have. Excellent, good. Everything works together nicely. Keep fingers crossed. Um, so here's here's our, uh, our our system, and we've logged into uh, to a dashboard. Uh, I've got to get rid of my controls here so I can see. Um, we've logged into a dashboard, and um, 
Gonna get rid of that. There we go. Uh, and this is going to show you as a company dashboard how many users you have in the system, how many active jobs you have out there in the system. Um, you know, if you're using any of our landing pages for telling network sites, those will be uh, tracked here as well. How many overall candidates do you have in the system? And this is ridiculous. I've told you some of our uh, clients, you know, pull in uh, 10 million and then they grow from there. Uh, but it'll it'll show you overall the growth of your pipeline, and then you can drill down into what that looks like. We're going to show you the jobs that have been synchronized and which ones have been automatically posted by our business rules and which ones have been manually posted by your users. Um, we're going to give you an aggregate view on your dashboard of the overall source tracking. So, you know, how many jobs have been viewed, how many views of those jobs have you uh, been able to, to attract, how many people started applying for jobs, how many people completed, and then ultimately how many people got hired from, uh, uh, from your marketing uh, activity. And then we're going to show you uh, applicant activity or rather recruiter activity um, as well on the, on the, uh, the dashboard. Now we mentioned job integration. So I'm going to click over to our jobs uh, uh, module and this is going to show you that all of these jobs, so I have a fake company set up in my demo system called Black Bear and all of these jobs have been automatically synchronized from uh, our Oracle based uh, applicant tracking system, right? So in your case, all of these uh, jobs would be automatically synchronized from uh, TBE. Uh, we would take them and create specific lists for them. So maybe we would create a list of all Northeast jobs, uh, all U.S. jobs, all finance jobs, um, all of your jobs, right? Whatever the business rules are required, we'll create those lists. And so in, the, in this case of my demo, this is my list with all of my active jobs. And I can see which ones are mine because uh, you know, I've got an icon that says it's mine. Um, I could take specific actions on these jobs. Uh, if I haven't automatically distributed them, even if I have as a recruiter, I can come in and update the broadcast and send it to specific job boards that I might be interested in. Uh, and so just by clicking that, um, I can select the various job boards. Maybe I want to include a specific campaign uh, to this. So maybe this is part of a wider campaign and I want to do some reporting on that so I can attach it to a campaign. Uh, or I just push it forward and I can select uh, from any you know, list of job boards that we would set up for each of your users if they want to manually post that. The really cool thing here is I'm going to show you how many uh, uh, postings you have available on the various sites and also set up all the free boards that you're interested in uh, there as well. So it's a really simple manual posting process for those that, uh, that want to post manually. Um, in addition to posting manually, recruiters can from this one place send it out to an agency if you're using our uh, agency portal. They could share it uh, from here. It's going to share to their LinkedIn status update page or their Twitter feed or their Facebook update page or, or a specific email. We're going to add a, a, a tracking URL to that so that when applicants come back in as a result of this very simple and free recruiter uh, generated activity, you'll be able to see what that activity is and we'll show you that uh, a quick report in a while. Um, now let's just take a quick look at this continuous integration engineer job, which again got automatically synchronized from your ATS. Um, you can see here these are all the smart lists that based on the business rules this job is, is assigned to and we use that for all those uh, different marketing business rules. Uh, you can see the job qualifications, a description comes out of the ATS. But most importantly, down here is all the metadata that comes out of your ATS. This is where the job knows you know, what job family it's assigned to, what job code it's assigned to, what location it's assigned to, uh, you know, is it part-time, you know, is it full-time, all of that stuff. When was it posted? All of this information helps us help you automatically distribute and market the jobs. So uh, that's a really good uh, uh, you know, example of the depth of integration from a jobs perspective. Now let me show you the depth of integration from a candidate perspective. Sorry about that, love when that pops up. So, um, so back on the job here, uh, uh, so we've shown you the job data, but look at the candidate data that happens as a result of our integration. Um, so because we are integrated with the ATS, I know that this continuous integration job engineer is open in TBE and has several applicants, right? So in this case, uh, I'm pipelining for an open job and there are six candidates on this job. 
Some of them have applied. Some of them have been found um, as a result of uh, you know sourcing activity. So I can I've got stages here set up against this job, and I can say just show me who's actually applied for the job, and let me see what kind of application. Uh, uh, I have and, and indeed uh, six people have applied for this job you can tell because of the uh, the ATS icon here and the stage is set to apply so we'll just open up uh, Tyson's application here this is his profile inside of your CRM it's not his TBE application but it's been generated by his TBE application and we're going to show you not only uh, his profile uh, his resume as it came out of uh, the ATS system, right? Um, if we had sent any emails to him in the past from the CRM tool, we're going to show you that list here. We're going to give you a quick visual timeline of his uh, of his career to see if there's any gaps there and see if things make sense. And then, if you'd like to know his history from TBE, we're going to give you all of the history any past jobs that Tyson applied for. So in this case, he's only applied for one, and it was this job. His latest status was that he had applied, so nobody's actually looked at his uh, resume yet inside of, of uh, the ATS. And here's his referral history. So we know that uh, his source was from Monster. So Telemetry auto-posted the job to Monster. Tyson applied to the job in Monster. His data gets held in TBE. That then gets uh, synchronized back into uh, the source of CRM tool so that we can show you not only his application history, but also that uh, he applied from Monster. So that's pretty cool. Now, what I've learned from this is that I've only got six applicants, and I know that I'm going to need more data for this job. So, um, uh, so I might want to do one of two things. First, I might want to say, okay, where all was this job posted? Did we push it out broadly enough? Um, is Do we have enough uh, advertising uh, spend on here? So here I can see all of the places I posted this job to. It's been posted to some agencies, and it's on Indeed. It went to Career Builder for 60 days. I can see when it came down. I can see how much money I spent. So as a recruiter, I might say, you know what? I'm going to re-up, and I'm going to do some more posting on this job and get some more advertising. So that's really cool. Real time, you can make a decision and drive some more advertising. But I'm not just a reactive recruiter. I'm a proactive recruiter. So I'm going to do some of my own recruiting against this job as well. So I'm going to switch over here to the sourcing icon, and I'm just going to say, you know what? Uh, I'm going to go out and see if I can't find some applicants for this job. So I'm going to show you real quickly um, how we run searches into all of that data that we talked about before. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up a new search, and this time we'll, we'll search for a software uh, engineer. And uh, if I could talk and type at the same time, uh, you would see that uh, as I took the software engineer, all of the you know potential job titles come up. So I can just go ahead here and, and uh, pick the first one, software engineer. I can add a location for this job, either by city or country, state, or by uh, postcode. I can select a radius. I think people you know might you know, drive 30 miles for this. So I'll go ahead and push that out a little bit. Uh, it's a semantic search tool, so I'm going to give it something to uh, be semantic about. Um, in this case, let's say this person needs Java. And I'm going to give it some weight here because this is an absolute requirement. Um, but I'm also going to say, you know what? I know that there are some other related keywords uh, that, that impact Java. So let me just see what those related keywords might be. And I'm going to go ahead and add all of those as nice-to-haves as well. And then I also know that they need a database, so we'll just... Uh, you know, uh, add the Oracle database in here as uh, an, a necessity as well. Now, this is a really simple way to create a search for a software engineer who's got Java uh, 30 miles from Chicago. Um, and what I'm going to do when I click search is I'm simultaneously going to go out and search the data I already own. We call this your data, your internal data, all your past applicants, everything that you've sourced in the past, and everything you've worked hard to build. This is your uh, your proprietary database that you've built with uh, TBE and telemetry. But then there's also data out there that you don't have yet. So maybe you have licenses to places like Beyond, Career Builder, Indeed, Monster, Dice, you know, you name it, right? Um, so we're going to, when we search, we're going to simultaneously search all of that data at once. And you can see that the system now is uh, sending the query to that, uh, to all of those data sources. It's bringing back results in real time. And uh, you can now work in, uh, in any of these results 
uh, to drive uh, uh, you know some applications or, or build uh, you know pipelines of talent so in this case this is all the data that I already own I've paid for Julie from Monster in the past I paid for Rothna from uh, beyond in the past Jung Quinn came from career builder in the past so I'm not going to pay for these people again um, there'll be a lot of ATS data in here as well uh, so this is all people that I've already paid for so I can go ahead and select one or all of them and I could actually send them a nicely crafted uh, and branded email invite to apply uh, all I have to do is select a template that we're going to uh, you know, set up for you already and uh, and I just select the job that I want them to apply for let's just say it was that continuous uh, um, uh, continuous job right and uh, we've got all the job data is here the candidate first name is here all the recruiter information and that's a wonderfully uh, a data merged and branded uh, email which I can send out now or I can send out later and it's going to send a really nice uh, email for them so that's a little bit about how we uh, can uh, can you know reach out and attract we can do the same thing down here in the data that we don't own yet but in order to do that we're going to select them first right uh, just like we were buying an iTunes we're going to select them select them all uh, and then we're going to uh, download them which means that we're paying for the view but then we're going to add them to a job pipeline we're going to add them to a folder so that we can send out those emails that's about all the time we have for a real high level view uh, but I do want to share with you what happens at the end of all of this is a really nice view of how your channels are performing so uh, you might have a job board channel you might have a resume database and import an email channel like we just looked at you might have a social share channel right you might have let's say an event channel and uh, and an agency channel and we're going to show you how all of those channels are working so job boards got 316 views and it's produced two uh, hires in whatever period of report this is set up for uh, same thing with your CRM activity we're going to show you that right here and we're going to give you a breakdown not only of the channel but of the specific job board and how each of those job boards or the sources within the channels are um, are performing as well um, and we'll jump on because this one this guy went to sleep while we were talking and, and also all these emails that we send out Right? Don't you ever wonder how many people actually opened them? Uh, did they get delivered? Did I have bounces? Well, we're going to show you all of that because um, this is a, an enterprise uh, class uh, email campaign system uh, as well. So hopefully, uh, I know it's real high level and uh, Ian and I tend to speak pretty fast. So hopefully that whets your appetite uh, and I'll go ahead and uh, turn it back over to, uh, to Ian. Yeah, and we are about out of time, so uh, I just want to kind of uh, let you know that, as, as I said before, telemetry is a, a, a platform and has many modules within that platform. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, everything from our job broadcast, job distribution engine, to our module for sourcing and CRM, which just Stephen just told you, uh, through to career sites and applications, you can, you can uh, engage with these solutions on a module by module basis so you can uh, get one of the modules all of the modules two of the modules and you get uh, the uh, associated analytics and reporting that go along with with each module uh, and if you'd like to learn more about uh, our sourcing and engagement uh, and our our job distribution solutions you can go to telemetry.com uh, if you'd like additional information you can reach out to me specifically uh, at the email address uh, that you have there and um, we're out of time for questions, but we will follow up individually on the questions that we received afterwards. Um, I want to thank Stephen. I want to thank Maureen. I want to thank all of you for uh, joining us today, and uh, we look forward to talking to you soon about uh, better recruiting with TBE and telemetry. Have a great day. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Ian.